Hello my dear students, how are you? Today we are in literature number one in our course Intro Change Intro Level under the title of It's Nice to Meet You. It's nice to meet you. When we can say it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you when you see someone for the first time you should say it's nice to meet you and he or she will answer nice to meet you too to hear means also okay as we see in our conversation between michael and jennifer under the title of my name is jennifer miller Michael, hello, my name is Michael Oda. Jennifer, hi, my name is Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Miller. Again, hello, my name is Michael Oda. Hi, my name is Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Miller. So, Michael and Jennifer see each other or meet each other for the first time. That's why they said it's nice to meet you. To meet you. And the answer is nice to meet you too. Two double O here means also. Okay, we will also go to another point. Last name again. This is uh, will make us handle first name, last name. Also other things concerning name. We have first name. It's the name of the person himself. Second name is the father name. We can say it also middle name. Middle name. Last name is the third name. It also may be or could be third name. We have also nickname. What is nickname? Nickname, the famous name. Something you are famous for, like a painter, is the nickname. You are famous for painting, so they or the people call you painter. This is the nickname. We have also surname. Surname is the name of the family, the name of the family. So from this conversation, we handle two main points. The first point, when you see someone for the first time and you want to greet, to greet him, you will say, it's nice to meet you. And also we handle name concerning first name, second name, third name, last name, third name, and nickname. Also, we are going to handle the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. When we want to say something is belong to another one, another person. How to say it? How to express using possessive pronouns? What's your name? your name it's your name the name belong to you in this case we will said your if we talk about he so will be his name if we talk about she it will be her name so your name his name her name my
my name if I talk about myself. He will say my name. Okay, and in the question, as we said, that your in the question will be my or our, depend upon the person or the persons you are talking to. If one, it will be my name. If there are so many people, they will be they will say our. Okay, so here the main focus is. Uh, to say that possessive pronouns, we have my, his, her, your, our, and it's for thing, it's for a thing, and we have here what is the contraction of what is the contraction of what is. So let's answer together the following exercise. Complete the conversation. Use my, your, his, or her. Let's see together. Number one. Hello, what's your name? Hi. Huh? My, my name is Antonio. My name is my, as we said before, that your will be my in the, the answer. What's your name? My name is Nicole. My name is Nicole. Again, we have Nicole and Antonio. They are shaking hands. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Antonio. What's your name? My name is Nicole. My name is Nicole. The second photo, okay. What's space name? Name is Michael. They know each other and they are talking about other people okay what's what's what what's his name the answer will be his name is michael and what's her name because talking about girl here her name is jennifer her name is jennifer Number two again, what's his name? His name is Michael and what's her name? Her name is Jennifer. So here for girl, his for a boy, my for myself and your for you. Okay, this is and our when we talk about the possessive noun, pronoun of we will be our. And also, before we handle or go to another point, possessive pronoun should be followed by a noun, like her name, his name, should followed by a thing, which belong to. Now, we will handle English alphabet. English alphabet consists of 26 letters, okay, beginning by A, don't say A, it's A, and ends by Z, by Z. Before we pronounce them, you should know that alphabet or letters are divided into two categories, consonants and vowels. Consonants and vowels. Let's first see them and we will talk in detail about consonants and vowels. We have A, B, C, G, E, F, J, 
H I J K L M N O P U R S G U V W X Y and Z again A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P U R S T U V W X Y and Z this is the, the capital form and this is the small form this is the capital and this is the small form okay let's talk in details about consonants and vowels consonants and vowels letter in english divided or divided into consonants and vowels also sounds in english are divided into consonants and vowels consonants and vowels today we will handle letters letters consist of 26 are divided into two categories consonants and vowels we have five vowels we have five vowels it's a don't say a a e i o and u again vowels a e o u a E I O U. These are vowels. Vowels. You say A E O. This is a vowels. Vowels. Like elongation. Later in our Arabic language. A E U. This is the vowels. In English, we have A I E O. U. This is the vowel letters and concentrate on the word letters. Not I talk about you letters, not sounds. Okay. So we have four, five. We have five letters called vowels, which are a, e, i, o, u. And we have 21 letters called consonants. Consonants, which are B, C, G, F, G, H. I said H. Don't say H. It's H. J, K, L, M, N, O. No, O, oh, no. L M N P Q R S T V W X Y Z. Let's talk about some notes concerning consonants. Will help you in pronunciation. Okay. Let's begin by the ba sound. Ba sound. I want to say a note that when the word ends by M, M letter and followed by B or N, in this case B or N will be silent will be silent i give you an example example like 
climb. We say climb, don't say climb. Why? Because M comes at the end of the word and followed by B. In this case, B is silent. The same rule if or when M comes at the end of the word and followed by N. Like column. We say column, not column. Column. Okay? Let's now handle the letter C. C has two sounds. It may be K and it may be S sound. So the letter C has two sounds. Has K and S sound. K and S sound. So what is the rule? Give you first example. Car. We say car. 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 We said cycle. We said city or city in American. Center. We have car. We have cold. We have cool. We have cat. Cute. So what is the rule? What is the rule? Ha. When I can say sa sound and when I can say ka sound of the letter C. The rule is when C is followed by E or I or Y in this case will be pronounced sa sound sa sound like a site like a study like cycle otherwise it will be ka sound this rule again C's letters has two sounds it could be K and it could be C what's the rule when the C sound is followed by I Y and I Y and E in this case will be pronounced as SA sound as we said, city, center, cycle. Otherwise, it will be ka sound. Okay? Now, we will move to letter D. D, when it comes at the beginning of the word, you should say it with little aspiration. Like the gene of the faculty. The G, G, gene. The gene of the faculty with aspiration. This is the only comment about the letter C. Fast letters, we have no problem about it. G. G also has two pronunciations. G has two pronunciations. Like together or like. Uh, get ha. like gas like goat like geology so what the rule when i can say ga and when i can say ja sound the same rule of ba of uh, the same rule of c letters okay it has two pronunciation Ga and ja. Ga when it is followed by uh, ja when it is followed by i, e, and y. 
Otherwise, it will be ga sound. It will be ga sound. I can give you more examples. Again, the rule, we have G has two pronunciations. It can be ga sound and it could be ja sound. When I pronounce it ga and when I pronounce it ja, you pronounce G as ja when it is followed by E, I, Y. Give you example, geology. Geology has the first G followed by E and the second one followed by Y. Okay. Okay, so when the G is followed by E, I, Y, it will be pronounced like or as ja sound. Otherwise, will be ga sound. Give you example. Uh, for example, good. What else? Huh? Good. Go. Guess. All these examples are uh, are pronounced like ga sound, like ga sound. Okay. What about the H? H has a story. This letter is a story. It has so many rules when join other letters. Let's get some of them. When H come with P sound, like photo, PH will be pronounced as fast sound like a photo like a phone okay like elephant so ph will be f please write down these notes ph like f what else what else G H T like night fight height when G H T comes at or come at the end of the word in this case G H will be silent we just pronounce ta sound again G H T come together at the end of the word in this case we do not pronounce gh we just pronounce the ta sound like light night height sight all these examples okay what about gh alone when comes at the end of the word how we pronounce it like or as rough Tough, tough, enough. So we, we note here that GH comes at the end of the word and pronounced like fast sound, pronounced like F. So PH, we said F. GH, we said F. But when comes at the end of the word, G H T G H will be silent when it comes with the T sound also at the end of the word like a sight, night, height, fight, all these words. Okay, what else comes with the H? When S sound comes with H will be sha sound. Will be sha like a shoes like show okay will be sh, sh, sh. okay and when ch comes together it will be ch 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 we have t 
before she, che, e che, like chair, check, chairs. So you must distinguish between sha and cha, sha, sha, and cha. C H is a cha, like a change, a chapter, but. S H will be sha sound, like a show. So the letter H alone will be ha sound, house, home. But when comes with other letters like a P, it will be F. G H T, it will be G H will be silent. GH alone will be like F, SH will be SHA, CH will be CHA, and the TH. TH, we have two pronunciations. We have THE, for example, THE, THIN. Thus, those, these, that. So, th come together or pronounce like the sound. The sound. They may also be the sound. Like you think, like you thought, like uh, think, thought. Uh, Thank you. All this is fa sound. Fa 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 sound. Okay. What is the rule? If you note that that when th are pronounced like the, they come with the pronouns, demonstratives. You will know th that all demonstratives and all conjunctions will be the, 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 thus, although, though, even though, this, okay? And when the word have a meaning, like verb, like adjective, like uh, noun, it will be the sound, like you think, like you thought, like you thank you. Okay. Okay. So here we talk about the H sound, the main pronunciation of H is HA sound. But when H come with other letters, it produces other sounds. For example, PH will be F, GH at the end of the word will be F, GHT in this case, GH will be silent, we just pronounce the T sound, CH it's a CHA, SH it's a SHA sound, we have TH it's a the or the sound. J K L M N O P P P P P P Explosive Explosive It's more powerful than the sound. You should differentiate between P P P and B. P and B. P is more explosive, but B is more simple. Okay? P, Q, Q, Q. It's a qua sound here. Or no problem about it. Sa sound. Sa sa sound. Sa letter. 
as we said it's six but when it comes with each it will be sh and also we have another note when s comes with i o n i o n like television television like the vision so s i o n will be jan jan television television okay now we will move to t sound t you should pronounce it like this t t t t give it more aspiration we said d and t t when we say one two three one two two do not say two no the arabic not english you should say two like this t when it comes at the beginning of the word we say t one two okay and as we said when t comes with h we have two pronunciation of two sounds it's a fa and the fa and the okay we have also another note when t comes with i o n for example comprehension no no when we talk about intonation so t i o n it's shan shan we said we said s i o n jan and t i o n shan again s i o n it's jan t i o n jan t i o n it's jan okay t i o n shan s i o n jan s i o n could be jan and could be shan what is the rule when we say compare him shan compare him shan it ends by s i o n and we have a word like vision also ends by s i o n listen again comprehension and vision both of them end by s i o n but sometimes we say it jan and other time we say it shan what the rule i'll say to you the rule when the syllable s i o n preceded by a vowel it will be jan if s i o n syllable is preceded by a consonant it will be shan so again the syllable s i o n has two pronunciation could be shan and could be jan what the rule 
win it's followed by s i o n followed by uh, preceded by a vowel it will be done if it is preceded by a consonant it will be shun give you the example vegan television and it's a jan because it's preceded by a vowel and comprehension it's a shan because it's preceded by a consonant okay but the syllable t i o n it has only just one pronunciation which is shan which is the shan okay U V W don't say W it's W X Y Z X Y Z okay my students so alphabet consists of 26 letters are divided into two categories it's consonants and vowels as we said that we have four vowel letters which are A, E, I, O, and U. Otherwise, there'll be consonants that we have 21 consonants. Okay, so in our lecture, we handle so many points concerning when you meet someone for the first time and you want to greet him, you should say, it's nice to meet you and you will answer nice to meet you too and the word two double o here is good also also in this uh, lecture we talk about names first name second name third name and the other people said first name middle name and last name we have also famous name or nickname that the nickname you are famous about something like painting like uh, uh, for example uh, painting you will be painter okay uh, in this case uh, it is called nickname nickname that you are famous for something is popular about you that's why people call, call you the painter for example okay and we have surname surname is the name of the family the name of the family okay in this lecture also we handle possessive pronouns we said my his hair my his hair your our and its our and its and the must and the should be pronounced by by a thing here also we talk about or have an introduction about english alphabet english alphabet Okay, my dear student, we stop here, inshallah, and see you next time in lecture number two. Goodbye and good luck.